Hey Nathan. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So now that we got all the mortar knocked off the walls, mortar and plaster, we're going to start our favorite part of cleanup. Is it your favorite part? No, I was being facetious. It's oh. the worst. All right, so all this plaster needs to be cleaned and then we're going to start digging and removing all these floors. So when are we getting rid of this pile? When we're done making it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the guy who took care of the first septic, septic tank that usually comes and he removes everything for us. We cleaned it, finally. How many hours of cleaning? Four. Four hours to remove all the plaster from the ground. Yeah. So we decided to keep this hardwood floor for now since we can like step on it and stuff. Mm. But this is gonna leave soon too. Yeah, it's just kind of like a work platform for the moment. So now that we kind of cleaned out all of the mortar and plaster that we knocked down the other days, we're going to start our favorite activity of digging. Good. Man, I can't wait. Christmas came early. <laughs> Christmas is around the corner. How long do you think it's going to take us? If we only have like three hour days, it could take, I don't know, a month and a half. A month and a half. And we're forced to dig by hand. Yeah. Because these openings are too narrow a few centimeters too narrow for the smallest heavy equipment you know what fortunately we're strong yeah and i helped you well today you did a good job thank you sir <laughs> all right breaking ground again <laughs> oh this is going to be way faster than the other side you think so the other side was very hard clay it seems like a mixture of soil and some soft clay. That's nice. Right? Good luck, my friend. Thanks. <laughs> We got this uh, miniature area dug out. It's about, I'd say half of this room. So pretty good progress. We did that in two days. Yes. Three more times to go. And then uh, underneath all of this, uh, what slows us down is we have to remove tons of stones that were used as a sub layer. It was their slab for back in the 1700s. So just from this little half part of the room here, we dug out these stones and all of these from half of the room 
And they're beautiful. Look at this one. They've been worked on, obviously. Yes, they're fine. They're yeah. Beautiful. beautiful. So we're going to reuse them all. Yep. So we're going to uncover the rest and reuse them for when we do our own slab. So are you ready? I don't have a choice. And they found a lot of Roman treasures in this exact village we are in. The people who found it like dug very deep. Wow! That is huge! Ooh, you're gonna need the wood barrel for that. Yeah. Oh no. And look, it's pierced. Yep. Funny. Mm. Nathan, please use the wood barrel. Oh, it's okay. Okay, one down, many more to go. Okay, so we're hoping it's the last day on this room, but a bit of a surprise when we came in that was waiting for us. What the flood? <laughs> we're flooded. Yeah, we have pools, indoor pools. And we even waited until the weather forecast said no rain for 10 days. We weren't going to dig at all until it wasn't going to rain. And guess what? It rained. Anyway, we're gonna power through it. No, no other choice. This it's island. literally an island. As since there is sand, there is water, everything is gutted for a, a good <laughs> beach day, right? Yep. So just enjoy your day at the beach. <laughs>
All right, it's a historic moment for the, this house. Taking the last shovel, we're really digging it out. We need to level it tomorrow, but it's actually dug out now. Obviously, mm -hmm. we left some space along the walls to protect the walls, and these are the pillars that the mason put in for the I-beams above. And uh, yeah, we, we got some rain today. So we had to stop digging at about 50 centimeters because we started to sink, as you can see here, the quicksand. So we're going to wait for that to dry up before we do our final leveling. We need to do our weed fabric first, and then we'll be placing the stones outside. Um, we uncovered quite a bit more. We'll be putting them down first, and then we're having some river stone delivered, and we're going to put that down uh, until 20 centimeters. You know, I, I almost gave up today, and then Maria reminded me, just think about Charles Engels from Little House on the Prairie. His life <laughs> was that, miserable. If I'm not doing it for me or my wife, I'm doing it for Charles Engels. <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of inundation today. You know, we were hoping for the dry weather. We didn't get it. We'll move on. We won't get it. <laughs> here we are, here at 59 centimeter. The water table. Yep. The other side was worse there, in my opinion. If we're thinking of it in terms of Christmas, Santa delivered us a big sack of coal with this flooding uh, of water. Proud of you. Five very long days. See you for part two next time. Yeah. The next room. Bye.